Okay, today we're going to be learning about uh, three ways of describing motion. Velocity, motion graphs, and acceleration. Now, these none of these are really terribly difficult. Um, velocity and acceleration, though, are two words that we use in our everyday language a lot, and they may mean something a little bit different in physics than they do in our everyday language. So, velocity. Let's talk about velocity for a second. Velocity is speed in a given direction. So here we have a you know, sports car. I wish it was mine, but I know it's not. Um, but and you can see that you know it's pointed this direction. So imagine this car was moving, the, uh, you know, going this way. So its speed and velocity would be the same. However, imagine. Well, let's talk, let's start with our lab that we're going to do here in the next um, station. All right. So we have a track. I mean, and your track here. Hot Wheels track here has a hill. It comes down and it kind of flattens out. And then we have our car. Now, forgive my crude drawing, but here's our car. All right, that's really ugly, but that's okay. You get the idea. So here's our car. Now we're going to calculate in the next um, station velocity in this direction. All right, which the, where the track is going. But as you can see, the car actually goes in a couple different directions. When it goes down the hill, yeah, it's, it goes in this direction, but it also goes down. All right, so it's actually kind of going in this direction and this direction, kind of at the same time, right? And so, actually, um, actually this direction. So it ends up actually going kind of in this way. And so um, as it's going down, its speed and its velocity are two different things. So its speed is going, you know, it's just how, how fast it's covering this distance. Its velocity is how fast it's going in this direction. So some of the energy is actually going down, while, and some of the energy is going to the, this way. Uh, and so our speed and our velocity are not equal. And you're going to see that here in a few minutes. Now, which one do you think will be higher? Will speed be higher or will velocity be higher? All right, that's kind of what you got to figure out. Now, graphing motion, we're going to deal with this more a little bit um, tomorrow. Um, but we can actually graph motion. It's a little bit limited, but uh, the most common graphing motion would be distance versus time. So here we have a small kind of a version of, of um, the graph. And you can kind of see it has two lines here. At the bottom here, we have time. And on the, up on the y-axis, we have distance. Now, here we have a kind of a straight line kind of going up in this direction. This means that the object, whatever it is, car, people walking, whatever, is going at a constant speed, all right? And so what's happening is they are, you know, obviously time is moving, you know, always like it always is, time's always going. And as you can tell that its distance is changing at a very consistent rate. So constant speed here, let me finish right now. All right, constant speed. Now this one here, this speed varies a little bit. easier without the mouse. Let's try that. Oh, that's even worse. Alright. If I thought I had bad penmanship before, holy cow. Alright. But here, in this particular one, let me change colors here. In this particular one, um, speed varies. You can see that during the, this time it, it traveled uh, about 15 meters in about, uh, let's guess about three seconds or so. And then an, another probably 10 meters in another second. So it sped up a little bit. And then it slowed down. And then it sped up. And, sped, and then this is kind of a constant speed here. But it did change. So what basically what you're going to find is the shallower the angle, the slower the speed. And so this would be, you know, one speed. This would be a different speed. And this is going to be faster. Whoops. Aster. Oh, Lordy. All right, this is slower. Okay, because you're, ch you're changing distance. It's taking longer to get, you know, get the same distance. So, you know, um, 
if this was a graph, let's see if I can do this. All right, you're covering, let's say you got a point here. All right, you're covering, and then this is time down here. You're covering the same distance in a lot longer time, so you're going slower. All right, now, what happens if on a motion graph, you get, you know, so you got, let me, uh, let me erase this here. There we go. Ooh, that was quick. All right, so let's say we have a, um, a motion graph. And let me draw a graph here. No laughing. All right, so here's our distance. Here's our time. And we get something like this. Okay, so somebody starts walking. And, you know, it's, it's uh, they're talking to their friends, you know, chit-chat and whatever. And then all of a sudden, somebody says, hey, there's free pizza downstairs. Oh, wow. And so all of a sudden, they want to be one of the first in the line to get the free pizza. And so all of a sudden, they go much faster. Then they get to the pizza. What do you think happens now? Well, they get to the pizza, and they obviously would stop. And so their distance wouldn't change at all. But time marches on. So they would stop and eat the pizza. Yum, yum. And then they may start walking again because they just had pizza and now they're done and they go back to their friends. <coughs> the next one we're going to talk about is acceleration. Now, a lot of times people think, oh, yeah, that's when you speed up. It's like when you, you know, you hit the gas and zoom. Yeah. There, no, not in physics. I mean, it is, but it isn't. All right. Velocity is the speed in a given direction. Acceleration is the rate at which this velocity changes. All right, now here's the deal. Yeah, most people obviously think, oh, velocity, I mean, acceleration. You hit the gas pedal and shoom, there you go. Now, that's a change in velocity. You're going to go, if, if you're speeding up, you're changing how the speed going in this direction. Yeah, no kidding. All right, that makes sense. But acceleration can also be slowing down. All right, so if like in, in your next uh, station, the car's going to go really fast. It's going to be accelerating. And it's going to hit the bottom, and then it's going to start to slow. Whoa, not that. Hopefully not. Uh, slow down. All right, that's also acceleration. It's just called negative acceleration right, because it's slowing down. But it's still a change either increasing or decreasing in speed. Or the last part, changing directions. So, yeah, remember we talked about velocity going in, in you know, given direction. So, you know, we want to go this direction. But this is also acceleration. Not only is it speeding up, but it's changing direction. And then it changes the direction there, again, down here. That's also acceleration. So our acceleration points are going to be here, then here, and then probably along here when it slows down. So three things. Now, in our everyday language, a lot of times we just focus on this one. But in physics, it's all three. You got this one, this one, and this one. This is what makes this hard. And this will, we will talk more about this later on this week. Um, but um, let's talk about this question right here real quick. How is it possible for a car to be accelerating if it speeds a steady 65 miles per hour? Hmm. Well, it's constant speed, so it's not increasing or decreasing. So what may be happening? <gasps> yeah, brilliant. It could be changing direction. It could be going in a circle. All right, sort of like NASCAR, over and over for hours. Yeah, they're constantly accelerating, even though they may be going the same speed. They're changing, always changing directions, so they're always constantly accelerating. Now, calculating acceleration is not terribly difficult. Acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. Oops, my picture's in the way, but that's time. All right, so two it's very simple mathematical operations subtraction and division all right so a roller coaster at the top of a hill all right you know I, I, mr buckley loves roller coasters no i don't i don't i hate them but um so at, at your top of the hill and you know that you know you're up there and, and this is the point where i really question um 
my my thinking of why I'm on this roller coaster. I'm usually uh, yelling at my wife saying, why'd you put me on this? Right. But then as it falls down the hill, it accelerates. Right. So obviously, it's not only it changes direction, but it also speeds up, right? So we got change in speed. Because no, it doesn't say the nice slow speed that I like at the top of the hill. No, it goes faster as it goes down, of course. And then, of course, once it gets to the bottom of the hill, yeah, it changes its direction again, and it might change speed too. It might slow down. So as it falls, as it falls down the hill, it accelerates. At the bottom of the hill, it is traveling 22 meters per second. It only takes four seconds to go down the hill. What's the roller coaster's velocity? So final velocity, 22. So we'll put that to first, 22, minus its initial velocity, 2 meters per second. All right, now I'm going to put parentheses here because we have to do that first. All right, and then divide it by the time, which is only 4 seconds. So 22 minus 2 is 20, divided by 4. Well, 20 divided by 4 is 5 meters per second per second. I'm going to put per squared now. That means for every second, this roller coaster increased its speed by 5 meters. So, you know, for the first second, as it goes down, it increases speed by 5 meters per second. The second second, now it's going 5 meters per second for the first one, five, another 5 meters per second. So now it's up to 10 meters per second. And then 15 meters per second, 20 meters per second to the final, you know, at the bottom it's at 22. Because remember, we started at 20. All right, all right, sorry, we started at 2 already. So, actually, I kind of said that wrong. I should have said, starting at 2, then we add 5 meters per second more faster so at the after one second it's going seven meters per second and then after another second now it's going another five meters per second faster so now it's uh 13 or sorry 12 meters per second i know my addition 15 meters per second or 12 meters per second oh lordy then another five after three seconds so that's going to be at 17 meters per second and then at the bottom, then of course, 22 meters per second after four seconds. We'll practice this more this week. 